Zhou Yu, what is Zhao Zhao's army up to? They are near the banks of the Shangjiang River. We are outnumbered. If they cross the Shangjiang, it will be difficult for us to outrun them. As such, we must do whatever we can to prevent them from crossing the river. So you're saying this battle simply needs to buy us some time? To come up with a plan to deal with them? Whatever the case may be, it's a battle we need to fight. If we don't, who might not live to see tomorrow? Things really have taken a turn for the worse. We've got no choice but to do something about it, though. That's what we're here for. It is refreshing to see everybody so eager to fight for our cause. We will need every last one of them to emerge victorious from this battle. I get it now. This massive enemy you've been talking about all this time is Cao Cao. Perfect. I couldn't ask for a better opponent. <laughs> My blood's already boiling for this fight. Good luck, everyone. Do what you can to stay alive out there. I expect to see all of you back here when this is over. Let's go. The time has come to protect our homeland of Wu. We must not let Zhao Zhao cross the Shangjiang. It is imperative that we hold them at bay. I would like to push back the front lines. But that will require defeating Cao Cao. How could we lose to a group of lowly pirates? used to fighting on ships. I can see your legs shaking from here. The five of us shall face them together. It is time the enemy realized the true might of Cao Cao's forces. These guys are pretty tough. They clearly have no problem standing out the crowd. does not stand a chance against our might! Let us go capture that area. We shall make it a thing of beauty. Let's go! This area will soon be under our control. We need to capture that area over there. Everybody, prepare to go to battle! Our target has been decided. All units forward! We will now proceed deeper into enemy territory. Follow my lead. You have impressed me with your ability. I look forward to our next encounter. Time to get 
to end this. my skills against you. Definitely special. Time to end this. I am never supposed to take a single step backwards in battle. Forgive me, my lord. My turn to attack! How could we have lost? I cannot believe that we lost in such an uncouth fashion. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. <laughs> I was able to protect the people that were under my charge. We won, which is good. Xiao Xiao's forces are just so strong! Hey! 
Get on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. of our soldiers be harmed. I shall put a stop to your atrocities personally. First, we need to capture that area over there. Everybody, prepare to go to battle! This land will not be lost while I stand guard! First, we need to capture that area over there. Everybody, prepare to go to battle! We must defend this area, even if it means our lives. Time to end this. Protect our injured soldiers. Decided. All units forward.
target has been decided. All units forward! Deeper into enemy territory. Follow my lead. We must do whatever necessary to defend this position. Failed to protect the wounded. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. <laughs> I was able to protect the people that were under my charge. There was still some medicine in the base. We can recover here. in the way of my ambition. Anybody looking to stand in Lord Cao Cao's way is gonna have to get through me first.
this place for a while. I'm protecting this place if I have to. I'm not letting anyone through. You seek glory? Ha! You will only find death. See? service is its own reward, but this is pretty nice, too. It's impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty stomach. I will slay any who threaten those under my care. Come of this battle another time. Farewell. I'm too tired to move. Time to Let's end this. Sit down and guard this place for a while. Any who threaten those under my care. A fierce resistance. However, they will not stop me from achieving my ultimate goal. We managed to hold off South Sao's indeed. However, I don't imagine he'll be down for long. Indeed. Going forward, we must find the best method for dealing with Cao Cao. We managed to hold off Cao Cao's army! I'm surprised that we were victorious against such superior numbers. I guess Cao Cao isn't as tough as everybody thought. This is just the first step. We should take this opportunity to parley with Cao Cao. With our victory at Wu Lin, this is our best chance to make peace. It should also make them more likely to accept our terms. I wonder if things will really go that simply, Master Cheng Zhao. One can only hope. Cao Cao is making a major play for control of the land. I doubt a loss such as this is enough to force him to sue for peace. Well, well in that case, how do you propose we deal with this massive army? There is nobody in this land capable of opposing him. It is suicide to face him alone. That leaves us with negotiating for peace. We just need to set our terms high. 
and gradually relent until we both reach something that works for both parties. My lord, Master Cao Pi has arrived with a message from Cao Cao's army. Your forces were most formidable in the last battle. My father, Cao Cao, was quite impressed. I have also been ordered to tell you that he hopes to go hunting with you, Master Sun Chuen. In preparation, he has prepared a navy 800,000 strong. 800,000? And if I refuse to join him? It will change nothing in the end. Wild tigers must be put down. Did you hear that, my lord? How can we hope to match Cao Cao's strength? My lord, I shall go pay a visit to Leo Bei. I have a feeling he can help us with this situation. Liu Bei? I heard he was defeated by Cao Cao and fled Jing province. For some reason, Cao Cao insists on pursuing Liu Bei. He must consider Liu Bei to be some kind of threat. I am not sure how much, though. What does Liu Bei have that Cao Cao fears so much? We should meet Liu Bei and find out. It could be the key to defeating Cao Cao. Yes, we should explore this. Lu Su, I leave Liu Bei to you. It is true that we have little hope of victory against Cao Cao. Zhang Zhao is right. However, to avoid fighting is to sit back and wait for death's embrace. Father, brother, what should I do? The difference in military might between Cao Cao's army and Wu is unprecedented. However, surrender is not an option if we wish to live to see tomorrow. We hold a clear advantage when it comes to naval battles, but their forces are 800,000 men strong. We would be overwhelmed before we could do anything. Tell me what to do, Sun Tzu. How can we overcome these seemingly impossible odds? In pursuit of total control, Cao Cao moves on Jing, capturing it in the blink of an eye, and continues south. Soon, he arrives at Sun Quan's Yang province. His huge numbers practically bury the banks of the Shang'an. Faced with such a powerful enemy, Wu wavers between fighting and surrendering. Elsewhere, Liu Bei, after being driven from Jing, gains the services of the sleeping dragon, Zhuge Liang. In such tense times, what will this genius strategist suggest? Now, the strategies of Zhuge Liang are about to change the fates of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei. Our only hope is to surrender. There is no way we can defeat a navy of 800,000 men. No, their figure must have been a bluff. 
I doubt they even have half of that number. Even still, that is more than enough to swallow our forces whole. Besides, Cao Cao has the Emperor in his custody. We will be seen as traitors to the Han. My lord, think of your subjects throughout Jiandong. For their sake and ours, we must surrender. Master Zheng Zhao, Cao Cao may have the Emperor in custody, but that does not make Cao Cao himself the Emperor. He is simply another Dong Zhuo. As such, we cannot just surrender to such a man. That choice would do more harm to our people. You have heard our opinions on the matter. What do you think, Master Zhugu Liang? I believe there is only one possible path you can take. Join forces with my Lord Liu Bei, and together we will defeat Cao Cao. Are you mad? You barely have 1,000 men to your name. What good can you do against Cao Cao's army? There is no sense in concerning ourselves with the issue of troop numbers right now. We have Master Liu Bei's leadership and charisma, and my wisdom. If we add to that the courage and the intellect of the army of Wu, we can defeat Cao Cao. Your intellect? Just how big a fool do you take us for? That's enough. We are not likely to come to an immediate decision. Let us take a break for now. We shall wait for Zhou Yu's return and then reconvene. You're dismissed, everyone. Lord Sun Quan is placing such tremendous pressure on himself. I wish that I could be of some help to him. My lord. I still do not know what choice I should make. I do not wish to surrender. Yet, if we go to war and fail, then the results will be disastrous. If I think of my people, Surrender may be our best option. Everyone is scared of Cao Cao. They are too focused on themselves and their family, as well as the future of Wu. However, consider this for a moment. What would happen if you were to surrender? Us warriors might be allowed to serve in Cao Cao's army. But what about you, my lord? At best, You'd be forced to live in exile, where you would live out your life in obscurity. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, Lu Su. However, I do not care what happens to me. I must decide what is best for everybody and for U. Father, brother, what would you have done in my situation? I can tell that you're troubled, Lord Sun Chuan. Thank you. Forgive me, but I overheard you talking just now. I remember something that Lord Sun Tse told you once. He said to turn to Lord Zheng Zhao for domestic affairs and to Lord Zhou Yu for foreign ones. It's difficult for one person to try and take on everything alone, but... If you work together, Lord Zhou Yu is searching for answers. I think you should have faith in him and wait to see what happens. Thank you. You are right, as always. This is not something I should be sitting here worrying about on my own. I shall listen to everybody's feelings on the matter in hopes of arriving at our best way forward. What are we going to do, Zhou Yu? We are warriors of Wu. Surrender should be the last thing on our minds. Yes, I agree. I never considered surrender to be an option. However, even counting Liu Bei's army, we only have 50,000 men. There is no way we can overcome Cao Cao with such a small fighting force, no matter what strategies we devise. Zhou Yu? 
I had thought that the famous master Zhou Yu would have a little more confidence. You must be Zhuge Liang. May I help you with something? Nothing in particular. I just thought that you and I could have a little chat. In this time of great crisis, you appear to be taking on the fate of your entire kingdom on your shoulders. What is it that makes you do that? Let me ask you, why is it that you serve Master Liu Bei? He is a man constantly on the run, with no land to call his own. That is not what I would consider a lord worth serving. I see. I understand now what you are saying. Then, I suppose that is your answer to the question I posed. Yes, it is. I see in Master Sun Chuan the qualifications of a man fit to rule the land, much like you see in Master Liu Bei. Additionally, he carries the hopes and dreams of his family and friends that have fallen along the way. I understand. Then, all we need to discuss right now is how to overcome Cao Cao. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. I've yet to devise a strategy to defeat Cao Cao. I doubt that very much. I am sure you have already thought of several possibilities, Master Zhou Yu. I am sure, for example, that you have considered using a fire attack. You are a terrifying man, Zhuge Liang. I can see why they call you the Sleeping Dragon. A fire attack would help our cause considerably, if successful. By burning his ships, we could prevent Cao Cao from ever crossing the Shangjiang. However, the winds are quite weak at this time of year. I doubt we could expect the flames to spread properly. Is that so? However, Master Zhou Yu, I wonder if you have noticed that the winter this year has been unseasonably warm. They say that the winds over the Shengzheng change at such times. It is said that a southeasterly breeze blows under such conditions. The wind would be in the direction of Wulin, where Cao Cao's forces are encamped. What? Are you certain about that? The vicissitudes of fate, the lay of the land, the united hearts of the people, all the elements are lining up in our favor. Master Zhou Yu, now is the hour when we must combine our strength and wage war against Cao Cao. Zhou Yu, if what he said is true, it could be our chance at victory. Hmm. On one hand, it is a plot that relies on the fickle nature of the winds. But if it could open a path forward for us, we might even be able to beat Cao Cao. Zhou Yu, thanks for coming. Currently, we are divided into two camps, surrender and resistance. I would like to hear what you suggest. Very well, here is what I think. Cao Cao's army is large, but it includes former soldiers from the armies of Yuan Chao and Jing province. I suspect there are problems with leadership and morale. It's an army overly reliant on sheer numbers. It's not a cohesive unit like most fighting forces. Furthermore, Cao Cao's army is not used to fighting on the water, which gives us a decisive advantage. They are also traversing the Shangjiang in the middle of winter. I imagine many of them have taken ill as a result. Cao Cao's army is not invincible. An opening for us to attack will surely present itself. Therefore, given these facts, it is my opinion. We should go to war with Cao Cao. 
What? Joe, you... Have you lost your mind? Joe, you... Do you really think we can defeat Cao Cao? Yes. Based on Zhuge Liang's advice, I think we have found a way to overcome Cao Cao's superior numbers. You're crazy! We'll be slaughtered in an instant! Master Zhang Zhao, this is not a choice between surrender or resistance. It's a choice between Cao Cao and our Lord. Which man will emerge victorious over the land? I refuse to accept Cao Cao as that man. I side with the ruler of Wu, Master Sun Chuen. What? Zhou Yu. My, my lord. My lord. I have made my decision. Wu shall join forces with Liu Bei and defeat Cao Cao. From this day forth, I shall consider those who oppose this course of action to be traitors to our cause. The time for the final battle is upon us. Everyone, lend me your strength so we may create a new future for U. Lord Sun Chuen has made his decision. Therefore, all we can do is help him execute it. Let us give everything we've got to help protect Wu.